this is absolutely disgusting and I cannot believe that I have allowed myself to get to this point. It's not okay. Especially when we do this, like I do this on a day to day public thing with videos and stuff. Like this is appalling from me. Happy Monday, fish keepers! Cam here from the fishroom.co.nz. Hope you've had a great weekend, you've made it through the other side, and you're ready for a fun filled week where you're going to kick ass and take names. What are we going to do today? Let's find out. As far as work out, the back room goes, I think water changes in through here need to be done. Probably through that end as well. I was saying the other day, uh, it's looking a bit messy in there, so I should probably focus on these two racks. Safi comes in because it's a Monday. Uh, so that'll be a fun-filled adventure with him. Uh, we'll make sure we find out what he's having for dinner tonight and how his fish keeping adventure is going for the time being. Right, good fish room family people. It is now time for the algorithm engager. If you don't know what that is, it is blatantly, basically me asking you to help me get the Fanatics Friday coffee dates unearthed a little bit more by answering a simple question that I want to ask. The more comments we get, the more chance YouTube are going to show it out, all that kind of stuff. And while you're at it, did the uh, like button, uh, button a wee hit as well. The thing is, this is working, this is working ridiculously well. The live streams are getting more traction and I'm loving it. I really appreciate it because the Fanatics Friday coffee date is absolutely amazing and it is a fantastic resource for all of you fish keepers out there to watch. We're getting a lot of uh, comments from the same people. I know there's some other people out there that are watching that aren't, aren't answering these questions and aren't doing that. So don't be shy, say hello. And let's answer this question. But today we're going to do something slightly different. Seth has got a question for you guys. So I'm going to stop recording this little bit of the video. I'm going to record the next bit with Seth. And you can answer what Safi's question is today. What would you like to know from the people for the algorithm engager? What, what I'd like them to know is how, if they like it and what they think of them. Probably what, what they think they cool, so what they like about the hobby, why they like it, and why they think that is it right? Yeah. Alright, there we go, we heard it straight from Sappho people. Answer his question, what do you like about the hobby and why do you like it? Good as go, that's it right? Awesome, right, let's chop on with some more work. Okay. We got our poly boxes in on Thursday last week I think it was, so we're packing up some fish orders. I might even do a short video of come. Pack an order of live tropical fish with me for the TikTok machine and whatnot. I have a metric buttload, like a, a literal buttload of damage claims to go through. Last week the couriers were so insanely rough with the packages, it's like five or six. Sometimes we're lucky if there's one a week to have that many in one week, it's just astronomical. So I've got a whole lot of damages to go through, damage claims. Uh, resending orders, products, that kind of stuff. So that's going to take up a decent chunk of time today. I've also got both uh, the Three Little Grooms podcast to set up today and the Phoenix Friday Coffee Day live stream set up. Uh, we're doing a giveaway on the Three Little Grooms podcast. I'm putting it up here somewhere. I'll just do this a few times during the, during this video and uh, hopefully get it right. Uh, we're doing a giveaway and it is open to absolutely everybody, international audience, so not just New Zealand. Um, after this little clip, I'll put a wee bit of this little giveaway in it. But it should be fun, so uh, get amongst the Three Little Creams podcast for your way to win some cool stuff. Oops, I forgot to put a towel down. Got a wet spot on my counter right above some electronic stuff but it doesn't appear that we've gone splash splash taking a bath sort of thing so we should be okay windows are definitely crying it's been frosty this morning overnight it has been killer cold so uh yeah we've got a little bit of moisture and dampness hanging around all you amsre people is that the word that i'm talking about thinking about did you enjoy that you got a Wait a minute, I didn't hear it that time, how about this time? Ah, you got some noise, you got some action, hope you enjoyed that. But yeah, we've got a bit of moisture hanging around today. Uh, dehumidifier is full as a bull. We've got light, light, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Um, 
but it's not all sunshine and roses. It is unearthed a ginormous issue with this silver dollar. Uh, time to try and work some magic on it. Not pretty looking, not pretty looking at all. Look away if you're squeamish. That right there is now number one priority. Let's see if we can work through this. Ah! <laughs> so time is absolutely important here. We don't actually have a time that this has happened. We know that this fish is clearly suffering quite badly. I'm going to refer to what I consider the absolute bible when it comes to uh, dealing with fish health and fish disease. The new, I'm trying to read this back, illustrated guide to fish disease by Dr. Gerald Baslier. I don't know, refer to that, check out my options and see what we can do. Uh, for those that don't know, we spoke to Gerald Baslier uh, on one of the Fanatics Friday coffee dates about two months ago. I'll put it up here somewhere if I remember. Uh, it was a pretty interesting, informative uh, live stream and coffee date, so it was well worth watching. But before I deal with any of that, we're going to try and work out what's going on here and try and get this fish all fixed up. So we've got to bacterial infection. Uh, we've got to most likely erythromycin being a solution. But we don't have erythromycin here, at least I don't have it available on hand. It's, it should be available via a veterinarian. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do a big water change and I'm going to salt the shit out of that tank. May or may not do anything. Uh, I've also done a bit of reading and Doxy potentially could help. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Doxy I might be able to get my hands on pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, so this is the joys of not having a lot of available medication. To be fair, it should not have got to this point, but it has got to this point, so now we've just got to deal with what we've got. And that is not having some stuff to deal with it. So at this point, I'm probably going to ring a vet, see if I can get some erythromycin, and see how we go. I'm going to do a little bit more reading uh, in this uh, book. I'm also going to uh, have a look at the Fish Keep and Chill website and see what their thoughts are as well, if they all kind of align and see if that's working. So that's where we're at at the moment. Not much fun. Uh, we've got to get it done. I've had a change of plans. I'm still going to do a water change. I'm still going to salt this. But I've got spare tanks out the back, so I'm going to remove said fish from here and set it up into here. Get everything we need. Airline, we can drop down into there. Recycle, pre wet filters, plug for a heater, ram it in there, we'll medicate it hopefully if I can get hold of some, and we will go from there. Wish us luck. Okay, there he is. She is. There it is. Uh, gave it a salt bath. And then a fresh water bath. And now we've got it in its own isolation tank with some salt. Turn the heater down to 22 so the bacteria doesn't go too fast. Chuck the catarpal even. Uh, not that I feel the catarpal will do much with the bacteria, I just find the catarpa and tannins are a good option for Amazonia type fish. Uh, now, hopefully, I can find some medication and we'll go from there. Keep you updated. It's not looking good, but fingers crossed. Plant orders done. <laughs> yep, done them. So we'll get that away. It's been a hectic day so far, as I'm sure you have seen and noticed and experienced so far. So we'll just continue to soldier on. Still haven't got through my damage reports yet, but we'll get through that hopefully next and uh, we'll see how we go. Sapphius Maximus! The Maximus Sapphius! How are you, buddy? I'm not worried about you right now. But what are you worried about me for? Oh. Oh, that's really compassionate, buddy. Thank you. I'm okay, and hopefully we'll get that fish nice and healthy, okay? Hopefully we've got it under control. Right, mate, what did you do this weekend? Well, this weekend I... Thanks for the water up, I think, Mm-hmm. And started the set up for Nice, nice. Cool. Are your fish going okay at the moment? Um, I think that's not a good one. That's not ideal. No. I think we take it out and get rid of it straight away? I don't know. We need to do it. As soon as you see a dead one, baby, we've got to take it out and get rid of it straight away. It'll help for long-term success in your aquarium. All right. Leave you to it. Let okay. you get on with your work, and we'll keep checking a bit later. Safio! I think it was harsh. 
We're making a repasting. You're doing a stunning job, like yeah. as per normal. All right, there is a question on everybody's lips. We need the answer, mate. Beef burgers and chips. Beef burgers and chips. Yep. Making them yourself? Yeah. Nice, nice. Going to have some tomato sauce? No. Cheese? Yep. Cheese? Pickles? No. Mustard? No. Sesame seed bun? Um, I know it's a bar, but it's definitely like sesame seed bun. All right, all right. Chef Saf to the rescue. Look at Gordon Ramsay. Here we come. What are we feeding out now, Sappho? Frozen. Frozen food. This is, we're feeding out the frozen ocean nutrition discus food again. Which is a pretty good combination and it looks like the pea puffers are having a wee go. They having a chill on it, Sappho? Yeah, definitely. That's good. Job done. Fish fed. Bravo. Congratulations, young man. You have just leveled up an achievement. Thank okay. you very much. Right. Looks like she's not happy with me still, but... Parent, cichlid, fry are growing okay. Seem, the parents seem to be doing a pretty good job so far. Settle down, psycho. It's a nice, nice way to start. Hey, relax. Relax. It's a good start. Uh, let's see what else we've spawned and see how they're all going. Just calm down, psychopath. These guys are looking pretty good, but I haven't seen eggs yet. They're looking pretty comfortable with each other. Hanging around in that area there, so... Might have a nest at the moment, we might not. So they don't look like they're on super high alert, so maybe not right now. Doesn't appear that any of our blue lacustrous from June have come through. Oh yeah, one or two, but not very many. Uh, the pepper coplasoma. However, seem to be going okay. Maybe there's a bronze ones. Either way, these little corridors slash up the swimmer going all right. Bosmani, same thing, not too many come through. But the corridors in here are going okay. White cloud minnows are very close. They're still quite small, but they're getting closer to sellable. I've uh, already begun selling the tea bars. Lemon tetras can't be too far away, although I might put them back in my herd to spawn from. And these peppercories, they're putting some nice size on them as well, but it's still a little bit of time away. That is the current fry state back here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the green severums are going to be giving us any fry from this hatch, at least either. Add this to the long list of fish that I have been unsuccessfully able to reproduce. This is absolutely disgusting and I cannot believe that I have allowed myself to get to this point. It's not okay. Especially when we do this, like I do this on a day to day public thing with videos and stuff. Like this is appalling from me. This is absolutely disgusting and woeful and I actually can't believe that I've allowed this back room to get to this point. There's shit everywhere. Despite my best efforts, it's not quite good enough to keep it clean. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disgusted of myself. I need to do better. I think tomorrow's job, or jobs, are solely and only going to be to tidy this bullshit mess up. Get it sorted, get it under control. Because it's just not okay. I'm going to have videos out here every day. Everyone sees this out the back every day. I know it's like a working fish room and stuff, but it's just appalling. It's really not good enough, so... Yeah. I think tomorrow I'm going to get some work done back out here. Number one and only priority. But watch me flip-flop on that, because I like to talk out live without thinking. Tomorrow, okay, how am I going to do this, this and this? And not doing it anyway. Uh, so remind me tomorrow. Gotta sort some shit out of here, this is just not okay. This is not even close to okay, it's very, very poor on my behalf, and I apologize for people to watch the videos and see this crap. I right, got some orders out, <coughs> not a lot, not many. Uh, fish, live food, and live snails mainly. Um, I still haven't got around to my damage reports. I'm gonna have to do that now and stop doing orders because, um, yep, that just needs to be prioritized, has to be done, so yeah. Today's been a bit of a filthy day and I just have not been able to catch up. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if I'm not whipping myself hard enough. 
uh, if I need to put in a couple more hours each day, maybe a couple extra hours in the morning because I can't do evenings that well. Um, yeah, can I possibly catch up in the morning if I'm here earlier getting some of the computer work done, I may still do the physical work a bit uh, later in the morning or something like that. So it's something for me to think about, something I, need to, I am concerned about. I'm not, I'm not actually keeping up to the level of the work that I need to get done. Out the back shows that. Um, missing that fish with a massive Popeye shows it as well. So I think I'm probably not quite giving myself enough time in this building to keep up to date where I need to be. So a bit of soul searching will be done tonight, this afternoon. Uh, this evening, tomorrow, and maybe a new bit of a game plan going forward. Uh, Recognising something's not quite right, trying to work out a way through it, and uh, yeah, get things going just a little bit better, but yeah. That's about all I've got for you today. Have a good one, Sam. Happy fish keeping him. Catch you later. Don't forget to jump onto the three Let's Talk Aquariums podcast. Uh, subscribe to it. Get yourself in the draw to win uh, a voucher for your favourite local fish shop.